from this hell story of Jesus comes a call a call to you to dedicate your one life for the work of the propagation of the gospel would you be ready would you be available are you ready would you give your time your talent your treasure your everything and some of you god might even lead you to go to a place or be in a situation where you even you might even quit a job i do not know that's that's between you and god but what i'm asking you is would you be ready would you be available i'm not talking about your ability i'm talking about your availability here would you be available for god to use you in the work of getting the gospel to your generation to your city to your nation and beyond by joining with your local church that has spent a lot of money and has spent a lot of resources i know several selfish churches but your church is not like that they spent a lot of money and resources on you so that you'll get this vision so would you be ready to cooperate with your local church and go beyond the call of duty to plunder hell and to populate heaven to give off your time to give off your talents to give off your treasures to give off all that you can give for the work of the gospel if you're if you're willing i want you to just slip up that hand slip up that hand yes i'm ready to give my talents to jesus my time to jesus my treasure to jesus so that jesus can use me to plunder hell to populate heaven raise it high raise it high raise it high can you get up from your seats can you get up can you get up can you walk can you walk forward please no this is not for everyone because this can be a dangerous job this can be a dangerous job john chow lost his life that dog lost his life you know that, that proverbial dog lost its life there are many people who, this is a very dangerous job but if you say well i am not going to seek my life i am going to lose my life so that i can save it like jesus often said i am ready to lose my life so that i can save others and save my life even though i die physically i know i will be with jesus like lazarus so we kneel down in god's presence kneel down in god's presence and say lord i just have one life i just have one life i have one candle of light my friend joe talked about the importance of being a light for jesus i have only one candle and i want to take that one candle to the place that you will show me and i want to burn brightly i want to burn brightly i want to reach out to the generation that's about to be salted the mark 949 salted they're about to be salted in hell but i want to be salt to them the mark matthew 5:13 salted salt i want to bring taste into their life the taste of jesus i want to bring the jesus taste in their life their life is so tasteless they got everything god they got money they got a job they got a house they got their international travels they got the fat bank balances but there's no taste in their life I'm going to bring in the Jesus taste in their life. I commit myself for that work. And I'm going to make significant changes in my life. Maybe the first thing may be to die to my cell phone addiction. Now, if you're carrying your phone, if it's in your body, um, may I invite you to place it in front of you or place it in the altar here? Anybody? Ready to do that? Surrendering your phone to the Lord Jesus. Can you place it in the altar? Can you come and place it in the altar? Symbolic of saying, Jesus is more important to me than the phone. I dare you to do that. I dare you to do that. You know, you, if you have a dog in the house, you know, you're happy with the dog if the dog obeys you. If you say, Do- doggy come, if it comes, it come. you, you're happy. If you say, doggy go, if the doggy goes, you're happy. So, it's like that in your use of the cell phone. If you tell you, if, the, if you command the cell phone, no problem but if the cell phone starts to command you you pick me up the first thing you do in the morning you pick me up when you go to the toilet you pick me up if your cell phone becomes your master it's a big problem the bible teaches in corinthians the book of first corinthians we should not be mastered by anything it's something that displeases god you know why 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 did I give a call like this in the final message when I'm talking about mission and evangelism because I want to tell you something God cannot use your time God cannot use your talent if you cannot give God your time 
you can't give god your time he no matter how talented you are god cannot use you for the primary thing he expects is your time that unhurried one hour in the morning that unhurried one hour with him late night it's possible it can be done it can be done it's possible can you start off with a say half a day half a day you don't touch your phone a phone free half a day can you increase it to a phone free full day and then can you increase it to phone free couple of days that will bring a joy in your life you read 2 john verse 12 he says the senior leader of the church there john says i want to write a letter to you but i but i don't want to do that i want to see you face to face when i see you face to face my joy may be full those days there there that was a time when they discovered writing with pen that became a fad like how using a smartphone is a fad in our time so people were writing letters left right center there were pseudo letters fake letters in circulation people like to write letters because writing was you know was invented approximately at that time or that period this is my theory so john says i know i can write a lot of letters to you but more than that i want to keep the letter and pen aside i want to see you face to face why a joy may be full the more time you spend with gadgets it's been proven at a doctoral level phd assigned phd thesis in america by a woman named jean jean twenge your joy level comes down your happiness level comes down the more time you spend with your phone but when you can de addict yourself under the power of the holy spirit the joy starts to increase that's what 2 john 2:12 interpreted for our times teaches me 2 john 12 2 john 12 so it's only one chapter so say lord i'm going to give my time the time my time and i'm going to give my talent to you i'm going to be available for your kingdom work i surrender my body parts to you i surrender my mouth to you use it to share the gospel use it to do apologetics use it to bring the jesus word in the normal coffee table conversation i want to give my hands to you i want to lord use it to play the guitar give out a tract lift a disabled person you know be a help to some person who needs my help say lord i'm available i'm ready i'm available use me just talk to god i'm not going to give you a teach you a prayer right now but this is this is just like it's as of jesus and you are alone in this room imagine that jesus and you are alone in this room and he's 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 talking to you you're having a one on one time with him, with him you say i'm available lord i just got one life it'll be soon past but what are i do for you motivated by love not by you know a bunch of rules motivated by love shall that only shall last some of you might think of joining for a online fully online bible course to equip yourself because i see you as leaders who can plant churches who can start new organizations if god should lead you who can actually you know be the next a uh, campus pastor for your your church which which will you know further spread to many cities in the middle east and beyond why not you you are the man that god is looking for you are the woman that god is looking for and you need to equip yourself a online bible college online bible course training you know so you know what is the use of playing some game for 3 hours a day Why can't we use it? Why can't you use it to read some solid Bible teaching books online? You can do that. Why can't you sign up for a a, a, a online Bible college program even as you study even as you work so that you when you're ready to lead a group of people that will be very very handy. I'm throwing out some ideas as the Holy Spirit is prompting me. Make some decisions young people that will change your life for time and eternity. right now your parents should see that change the first thing you go back to home tonight and that change should be seen in the way you handle your cell phone and not just that the way you talk to them the way you behave your pastor should be pleasantly surprised 
your spiritual leader should be pleasantly surprised at the change in your life it's possible when you yield to him when you keep yourself in his love he will keep you from falling and he will lead you till the end gracious heavenly father we thank you lord for speaking to us as a group thank you for speaking to me there are many areas in my life where i need to be more fully surrendered to you thank you for speaking to my young friends from that great gripping narration of what's going to happen in hell the story of the rich man and lazarus help us to never forget that meditation and let it impact our life and let us all let every person here give up their time talent treasure Lord, let them make themselves available for your kingdom work in a ever increasing passion till till their death till our death or till your return whichever comes earlier we ask this with thanksgiving in Jesus matchless name amen god bless you